So I hated becoming more attractive. Do you ever get concerned that you're going to offend literally everyone that watched your videos? No. Okay, so I've been getting maybe a bit more popular lately. Like we hit 80K, so I'm like 20K away from having a metal sheet shipped to me that makes me feel validated. A big YouTuber gave me a like plug. Hope you beat the sh out of that other guy. And my parents have started telling people that they actually have a son. Basically, all this praise in the new fan base has been fantastic. So fantastic, in fact, that I've fallen into a slight depression. All right, now don't get me wrong. I'm glad y'all are here. Please don't ever leave. But I'm just concerned and again, slightly depressed. See, a few weeks ago, I made some predictions in one of my videos. Uh, those predictions being, if I ever made it, I'd attach my worth to my work and I will actually break down if I ever have less success than I do now. Needless to say, f both those things have happened in some way or another. And honestly, I haven't been the same since. Anyways, this video isn't about that stuff at all. So ignore that whole section. Now, I'm telling you all this because there's one prediction I didn't speak on in that video, uh, since honestly, I was kind of scared to talk about it. And if those two predictions are already coming true and are already affecting me like this, this one is gonna hit me like a truck. They're like a seasonal depression. They're honestly interchangeable at this point. Now, I won't say what the prediction is just yet because tension, but I will tell you where it stems from. And if you can read, uh, obviously, the title of the video, I hated becoming more attractive in high school or something along those lines. I don't know what I, did. I ended up putting there. So why did I hate becoming attractive? How does this relate to more people knowing my name? Is this even a funny bit? No. Find out on this week's episode of Random Black Dude on the Internet Sounds Like an Ass for eight minutes straight. All right, so not too long ago, I made a video called Why Looks Matter that definitely made no one mad. Where I mentioned I wasn't the best looking guy. I didn't really take care of myself. Disgusting. You're ugly and annoying. E.T. looking ass bitch. I was like a three. And this might have reflected in my social life maybe a little bit. And I always kind of wish that I had it better. Like if I did, I would do what I wanted, go after who I wanted. Uh, you know, I'd take advantage of it. You know, shoot your shot uh, 2012. And then by some grace from freshman year to senior year, uh, puberty hit me like a seasonal depression. And I jumped to at least a seven. Thanks. And coincidentally enough, all the bullying, people not talking to me, and girls mistaking me for a browner Oscar the Grouch stopped. I was no longer a lame. One could say I had power, which is like, like a reference that like what I'm gonna talk about later. I raised in status, and in turn, your boy's confidence and pride went through the roof. It was great. Now, as time went on, things only got better. And your boy saw some pretty substantial growth as a person. I went from being shy to girls, to actually talking to them, to being decent at conversation. Eventually to the point where I was so confident, I started treating them like trash. <laughs> that just warrants an explanation. <sighs> See, over time, I had become uh, a drum roll. An asshole, yeah. <laughs> what, is this an actual ass? And all that attention had me feeling myself. Like just in general, I was being a little too big for my britches. I also started calling girls these. Now at this point, I'm sure you probably know where I'm going with this. Like I'm scared to get popular on YouTube. I started acting like an ass when I was in high school. I got more attractive and more popular. It sounds like I'm scared to get popular on YouTube because I think the popularity is gonna make me into an asshole or in more uh, professional terms. The concept that I'm trying to avoid is that power corrupts. Instead of like the power of going from a regular person to the CEO, it's power of going from like a dirty person to someone who brushes their teeth. Now, according to my Kurt Ritchie depression template here, this is the part of the video where I tell you about my struggles to fix the problem. But honestly, it's kind of like a simple solution to be honest. See, there's this concept that absolute power corrupts absolutely. A word to my boy, John. John. Basically, mean when people get power, they're corrupted because of the power. Basically saying, for my situation, uh, it's not my fault. Like, it's not actually me calling girls big booty because they have a big booty. So their solution is that it's not even your fault. So just try to be humble or something, I don't know. And we can, like, skim through the rest of this, right? I hate myself, I'm a piece of shit. 
<laughs> Insert self-deprecation joke. Ha ha, funny black man. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Video over. If any of that was true. If you think power corrupts, you're stupid. I'm stupid. See, it's more like I wished that was the case. See, power doesn't really corrupt, man. Let's let's be honest here. Like a lot of not so great looking people become good looking people in high school. And I'm pretty sure all of them don't start acting like trash right out the gate. I'm just weird. Or when it comes to the whole success thing, I don't see the odd ones out with his 10 million plus subs calling girls big booty because they got a big booty. Uh, granted, I haven't seen him not do that yet. Um, but we'll just leave that for speculation. See, the truth about power and popularity is that it reveals. And to me, that's fucking scary. Because if power corrupted, all the guilt and shame could just fly away. But if not, it means I was like this the whole time. And I learned this truth. I learned that power reveals because of how I fucked this girl in high school. Oh wait, you no, know, how I f this girl over in high school. Um, <laughs> you'll see what I'm talking about. Also, mom, I didn't smash some girl in high school. Okay, so some quick information that you need to know. When high school seven asshole Richie talked to girls, you could not tell I was high school seven asshole Richie. I'd usually be really respectful and nice uh, to people through the grand power of a, a lying. Again, I was a penis. But for some reason during this period, I was very honest with my friends about how I felt. Like 2 Chainz Richie was in full effect when I was talking to the homies. Uh, Drake Richie was in effect when I was talking to girls. That's Chekhov's gun and I'm gonna shoot this bitch in like uh, two minutes, 23 seconds. Is it okay to call the gun the bitch? I feel like that's fine. So there's this girl, Leah, who one day confessed to me, which was a shocker because she knew me uh, before the glow up. Now, I promptly put her in the friend zone because I'm blind and proceeded to talk to her like I would a friend. Because again, uh, say it with me now, penis. penis. All right, that's a lot of So not too long after putting her in said friend zone, we're texting and I'm like, yo, why don't I just give her a full brunt of asshole? Because why not? <laughs> Hi, this is actually me. This is actually me. And maybe seven messages into the conversation, I hit her with something along the lines of, yo, uh, sometimes? I really just want to f this. Uh, needless to say, uh, she wasn't too fond of that one <laughs> and proceeds to hit me with a really heartbreaking uh, slap to the face text saying a bunch of stuff. But the line that stood out was this. I was wrong about you. And what I interpreted from that is that she thought that ugly me was good at the beginning and that I was going to stay like that. But clearly this hasn't heard of the power corrupts. I mean, it's not my fault. But for some reason, even though I knew it wasn't my fault, cough, cough, still kind of left me feeling a little weird about it. Like I couldn't shake it off. Like something, something didn't feel right. Aside from the fact that, you know, I just lost a friend. So I ended up showing those messages to my best friend at the time. This dude knows me inside and out, man. Uh, not in that way. Uh, but you get it. And I lay down to him the whole story and tell him why I think this whole thing has been happening. Man, I'm pretty sure this is because I got more popular. I started acting like this. Old me would have never said that. And he looks at me and laughs. What? Man, old you would have did the same thing. You just didn't have the balls to do it at the time. Bruh, no, obviously not. I guarantee you that's not the case. And he said, man, Think about it. What was it that you always wanted even before the glow up? Do what I wanted, go after who I wanted, but you know, I take advantage of it. You know, shoot your shot in 2012. Ah, uh, shit. Yo, this dude might be right. Based off how I fought when I was a uh, ugly prepubescent me, I said if I got the glow up, I'd do what I wanted. And I truly said that, it's literally right here. Young me and current me wanted the same things, all right? But young me just wouldn't say nothing about it. Because not being clean uh, doesn't necessarily put you in a position of power. <laughs> and now that I have the ability to do what I wanted, I was telling girls I wanted to fuck, which is like as a 22 year old now is not a weird, 
concept. But still, and for real, this runs pretty consistently with human nature. Like, honestly, I can scientifically prove to you that I'm an asshole. You know, I'm gonna do it right now. I'm gonna scientifically prove to you that I'm an asshole. See, there was this 2008 study where psychologists tested how being in a position of power affected people's decision-making skills, right? They did this by giving one person a more powerful position and the other one a less powerful one. The one assigned to be the leader of the pair typically expressed her true feelings and attitudes more than her subordinate did. Basically saying power makes us feel more authentic. In another study, participants recalled a time they had power and a time they lacked it. Then they rated their personality traits in three contexts, with their parents, at work, and in social gathering. And typically they rated themselves in those times of being in power as, I feel like I can be myself with others. Myself with others. So in less boring sciencey words, more power, more real. So knowing all this, knowing that I was a default dick, it made me rethink something that message she sent. Was she saying she was wrong about me? Not because she thought I was good and became bad, but because she always thought I was bad and then didn't become good. She knew me from the beginning, so she would know. Uh, it was a predicament. In the perfect world, I would have went up to her and asked her if that's really how she felt. But honestly, I don't think I needed to. And I knew the answer. Plus, I was too scared, so it was gonna happen. Anyway. And that's where this all comes back to. Power doesn't corrupt, it reveals. And it revealed to me that I'm a... Yes. And that's why I'm kind of like nervous about this popularity thing. Not because I'm going to become a dick, but because it might prove that I've actually been a dick in sheep's clothing for years. I didn't want that to be the case. So like during that time, I worked on myself and also got less attractive. So it really wasn't a problem anymore. But now, here we are uh, once again. Y'all giving the black guy the clipboard. Now, typically, I come here at the end with like a moral, like, oh, but it's gonna be okay. But you know, that's not really how life works. Honestly, I can't be 100% sure. But you know, I can't just end it like that. And people like morals, so here. Even if that is the case, that I am a bad person, it doesn't mean I can't work on it now. And that's really been the whole point of making videos like this. Like, it's really therapeutic for me to really air my dirty laundry. So, one, y'all hold me to a standard and then I hold myself to it too. And like the real me's base isn't that kind of person. And hopefully with the help of y'all and friends that I have, I can remain uh, fairly chill. <laughs> what's up y'all damn you've made it this far that's wild um thanks i'm gonna keep this short because this video is the longest one i've ever done and i want to die if you like this video i highly recommend why looks actually do matter video so y'all should check that one out it's depressing i have a discord server now link in the description y'all should check it out come kick it with me we can talk also thank you guys for a hundred K a hundred thousand subs. Oh my god. I never thought I'd ever do that in my entire life So thank you a ton as always check out my artist Vibby and of course check out Mads uh, Mads say something Boy. All right, um, thank you guys for watching though. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace